kasori teri muntu mulimi wa mwanyi ayinza kwata jambi anapotende kobo najja okujja ku muntu we mundu obudde misana tuku ngakoze se jambia welcome to the morning updates right here on the buzz ug and as usual my name is melad milo aka fula i just want to thank you for subscribing to the buzz ug and in case you haven't kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications well don't forget to like and share to your friends and family Well, today is the second day of the planned protests in different parts of the country. Yesterday, we registered protests from uh, the parts of Jinja City and uh, Busoga subregion. Uh, right here in Kampala, police says they arrested His Excellency Bobby Wine's brother, that is uh, Fred Nyanzi, Sentamu, and other castlers as they tried to mobilize people in Kawembe not to dare open their businesses. The whole of uh, uh, yesterday, we kept on monitoring uh, different uh, uh, territorial areas and want to inform the country that uh, yesterday in Kawempe there were attempts by the councillor representing Kawempe 2 that is Senono Dennis also known as Den City uh, together with Fred Nyazi Sentamu, Emmanuel Serunjoji, the mayor Kawempe, uh, Muhammad Insubuga, councillor of uh, Makerere Parish three, uh, Thomas, uh, the councillor of Wandegea, that is Wagonza Thomas, uh, together with the Kemigisha Sharon. They were trying to uh, mobilize residents within Kavempe Division, uh, shopkeepers not to dare open their businesses. So we managed to conduct some arrests and we also impounded some motorcycles that were being used in the uh, mobilization. Well, there you go. That is uh, Mr. Fred Enanga, police spokesperson, right there speaking. Uh, so today is the second day. Remember, information on social media shows that these protests are going for three days. So we are waiting to see what will happen today. And I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, in other news... A joint security team comprising the UPDF and Uganda police are pursuing unidentified assailants who attacked policemen at a roadblock along the Kampala Gulu Highway. The assailants stabbed two policemen at the roadblock yesterday before disappearing with two guns. An eyewitness explains that the incident happened at around 12.30 p.m. when two men armed with machetes attacked the policemen at the checkpoint and stabbed them. So these attackers emerged from uh, the bush and uh, attacked them. Nganawe balo oza antibagenda kubebu uzako, ujizenga batanika kubate matema, abasirikala, abasajja. Bagenze ne mundu zuka, tebatute ya desente ya damasimu. Manya uyo wa mutemi, wa mutemi, kati wa msirikali kwe kutuka. Kwe kutuka, kati nanga nansange yu ni muyamba kwa mkolashi, umu okwe yongira yu. Bagenze ukula angano mzigu, ajo agoba, abagobe la dana ni baduka. Aze ye yambu deye, na ye yambu dengue, nga sika demu fatwa, haba demu chavu, nga sika demu fatwa. Kati ni muyamba kwa nanga nyamba ako, mpe t-shirt, ni muyamba, ni muyamba t-shirt. Nengi jamu tichati nengi muwa. Nekutambula nga tuwe yongera yeyo munda paka wato se wale chumunda na adinyana agenda. Well, there you go. That is the eyewitness speaking. Now, after surviving this asylance, the survivor traffic officer informed other colleagues in the WhatsApp group and she was actually communicating from the bush. The kanagwa kara ule ini, PC kanagwa kara ule ini. Chihumpa traffic. We are attacked by people in civilian attire yeah, with pankers. They have killed one policeman at the checkpoint. We need rescue. The guns are being taken. Me, I'm communicating from the bush. I removed the uniforms and left it on the roadside. Now, UPDF and other police officers later arrived at the scene of crime and one traffic officer was confirmed dead. The other was rushed to the nearby hospital nursing serious wounds. One has passed on. The other one is uh, in the hospital. 
Now, after the attack on the traffic officers, the assailants set ablaze the car that was parked on the roadside before they took off. <laughs> However, some locals in the area have a feeling that these assailants must be part of the security organizations we have in the country. They don't think that a civilian can put up such a planned attack on the security officers. Now, Uganda police says the hunt for these assailants has commenced and uh, they have promised to do everything it takes to have these assailants in their custody. We are conducting an operation to ensure that uh, we're going to do everything it takes to ensure that we uh, arrest the, the attackers. We shall not leave any stone unturned. Well, there you go. And uh, we are yet to know whether these assailants are part of the people that are protesting against the skyrocketing commodity and fuel prices in different parts of the country. Well, in other news... Uh, members of the NRM party from Wakiso district are not happy with the way President Museveni treats people who joins the NRM party from the opposition. Uh, they are saying that President Museveni should stop giving big positions to these opposition politicians who joins NRM and then he forgets about them who have been in the party for a long time. Of course, they are saying all this because of DP President Nobat Mao, who just joined NRM and was awarded Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs. Well, there you go. I don't know what to think about these stories that I have for you this morning. But in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. You can as well get to like and share my story to your friends and family. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.